What's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video today here on Codename Pizza. Today dudes, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get every single one of the brand new charm perks inside of Rave in the Redwoods on Infinite Warfare Zombie. Right now dudes, I am doing a competition for you guys to win a free copy of Infinite Warfare Rave in the Redwoods. If you would like to be entered for that competition, all you've got to do dudes is make sure you leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you are brand new and make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below right now. Thank you so much dudes and good luck. So if we look at our inventory on Rave in the Redwoods, we have got a total of 10 collectible charms that we need to go and find around the map. Now these have two locations each, and I'm going to be talking you guys through every single location and every single Easter egg step that we have to do to actually activate these to go on our weapons and do certain perks. So we may as well do these in order. So the first one we're going to do is the binoculars. Now the binoculars have two locations, just like the rest of the charms on this list. The first location is located in the Rave, right next to these crates of beer, and the second location is on this bench between the mess hall going towards the docks. Now once you've got those binoculars you need to make your way over to this other bench on the balcony section of the docks near Slappy Taffy. Now once you're up there place it on the bench and now you need to get yourself a sniper rifle. Now luckily there is a sniper rifle inside the hut to the right of you but you can also use one from the mystery wheel as well. Once you've got a sniper rifle look at Turtle Island. You'll notice that there are now eyeballs spawned into the map. You've got five eyeballs on Turtle Island and three in the normal map around where you are right now. So the five on Turtle Island are one above every single totem pole and then you've got one inside the cabin window. You've got one above Slappy Taffy in the normal map and then two behind you actually outside of the map. Now you need to shoot all of these eyeballs inside the hut where the sniper rifle is. If you try it anywhere else, it does not work. Now, once you've shot all of those eyeballs, you also now need to stay in the hut. You can move around, but the next steps won't work unless you are in that hut. So you need to get 15 zombie headshots. You can also do this on the Yeti on the Yeti rounds, but you may as well do it on zombies because it's a lot more difficult on the Yetis. Make sure you're getting all of these kills underneath that hut. And once you've got 15 zombie kills, then the binoculars will explode and you are able to go and pick them up. Well done, dudes. You've done the first one. So the next one we're going to be doing on our list today is the shovel. Now the shovel also has two locations that you can find it around the map. The first location where you can find the shovel is inside the mine right next to this rock. And the next location is right next to the shooting range underneath this window. Now once you've got that shovel, make your way over to the sewer pipe that's between the mess hall and the cabins. There'll be a grave there. Place the spade on the grave and then you'll notice that skeletons start to spawn in. Once the skeletons are spawned in, you need to kill them. They're about five times stronger than zombies, so just make sure you've got some decent and weapons to do that. Once you've killed those skeletons, make your way all the way back to the shovel, pick it up, and well done, dudes. You've now got the shovel. So now the next one we're going on to is the arrowhead. Now, once again, it's got two locations where you can find this. The first one is just outside of this spawn area next to this light, and the second location where you can find this is in front of the signpost just outside of the mess hall. Now, once you've got that arrowhead, make your way over to the shooting range. Place it on the window ledge there, and then you'll have around six targets that you've got to shoot inside of rave mode. Try and do this on a low round because it gets really difficult on higher rounds with the slasher trying to get you. Once you've shot all of the targets, the arrowhead will start to glow. Go and pick it up and you have done that one correctly. The next one we're going to do is the ring. Now the ring once again has two locations and the first one is located in the mines on the stairs right here. The second location for this ring is right outside the mess hall next to blue vault on the steps. Now once you've got the ring, make your way back to the spawn area and place it next to this television set on the table. Once it's placed down, you'll see that two lanterns start to glow you need to go and hold the action button on these lanterns multiple times so either x if you are playing on xbox or square if you are on playstation and the lanterns will turn around the goal is to get the light to hit the ring from both of the lanterns once you've done that correctly the ring will start to glow and you can go and pick it up the next one that we're going to go and do is the tiki mask so the tiki mask once again has two locations where it can spawn in the first location for this tiki mask is on these steps right near the dock area near where trailblazers is and the second location is near where you walk over time when you are going from the big bonfire in the center where you do the first ritual on the easter egg going towards the shooting range now once you've got that tiki mask you can make your way down to the mess hall You'll see that there's this picture frame. Place a tiki mask on the picture frame and you'll notice that some keys will now spawn in next to that. Give it a couple of seconds and then shoot the keys. Once the keys drop off, pick the keys up and you've done that one correctly. So the next one we're going to go on to is the eight ball, dudes. So the eight ball can be located in two locations once again. The first one is located on the ground in the mine right where I show you right here. And the second location is located inside of the rave on the opposite side of where you picked up the boat parts to build the boat. Now, once you've got that eight ball, 
make your way back to the upstairs of the spawn area and go up to the pool table. Place it on the pool table and then shoot the three white balls. Once you've shot the three white balls, you can pick up the eight ball and you've done that one correctly. So moving on to the next one, dudes, we have got the fish. Once again, two locations for the fish. The first one is located in the cabins area right behind this sign that says power. And the second location is halfway between the sewer pipes entrance. So it has to be halfway in the sewer pipe. Now, once you've got that, go down to where you build the boat, and just outside, you'll be able to place it down. This blue orb will spawn just above the water, and your goal is to blow this up with an explosive weapon or grenade. It's easiest to do this with a grenade. I tried to do it with a rocket launcher, and for some reason, it didn't work. So try and do it with a grenade. Once you've done that, pick up the fish, and you've then got the fish. The next one we're going to go for is the frog. Two locations for this once again. The first location is on the green chair inside the bank room, and the second location is near the rave inside of this carriage revenge entries. Once you've got the frog, you can go and place it down just outside the sewer, kind of near where you did the gravestone with the shovel. Place it down and then you need to go into rave mode. Once you're in rave mode, you'll notice that there are now frogs spawned in, in that underground section. Plus, once you're in rave mode, you will have a brand new ability. You've got exo slam, ladies and gentlemen. So jump off this bit where I'm jumping off right here and hold down your melee button and you will slam on the ground. Once you slam on the ground, you kill the frog. So you need to do this around six to seven times until you've killed all the frogs that are glowing. Once you've done that, you can then go and pick up the frog and well done, dudes. This perk is probably my favorite because it allows you to run through water really, really quickly. So we've got two left, dudes. The next one is the dummy or the pacifier. To find this, you've got two locations once again. Again, you've got one that's near the docking area where the canoes are and you've got one location that's inside of the cabins where the sinks are now once you've got that you need to make your way into the mess hall and place it on this ledge right here all the exits to this mess hall would then block off so just make sure you've got a decent weapon and you need to kill around 15 zombies inside the mess hall and once you've done that the doors will open up again and you can grab yourself the pacifier and finally the last one we're going to do today dudes is of course the boots now the boots once again have two locations the first location is located kind of near where you find that pacifier just before it's right near the canoes on the docks and then the second location is near the huge bonfire where you do your first easter egg step now once you've got those boots make your way over to the cabins and you'll see this red boot mark on the floor right here place it down and then another red boot mark will appear all you've got to do is walk over these boot marks until it's finally left the cabin now once it's left the cabin you'll notice that you will hear a chainsaw and a slasher will walk past once that happens, make your way to the spawn area and do the exact same again. There'll be a brand new red shoe print on the floor. Walk over that and then it'll move again. Walk over again, move again. And then once it exits, another slasher will walk past. You've got one more thing that you've got to do on this, which is down at the docks. So get down to the docks. There'll be a brand new footprint down there. Walk over it and let it get to its final destination where you will hit another slasher. Walk back to the boots where you originally put them. Pick them up and well done, dudes. You have now done every single one of the brand new perk charms inside of rave in the redwoods i hope this tutorial helped you guys out and if it did make sure you smash a like on this video dudes it'd be greatly greatly appreciated we'll aim for 2115 likes on this video dudes you know how we do and if you are brand new to the channel just make sure you do click that subscribe button and become the latest member of the pizza club thank you for watching dudes and peace out